One of the most critical aspects of reporting is our sources. So today we're going to make a custom report in HubSpot that is going to show our deals by source. So I'm in my custom report builder. I'm going to pick deals as my primary source. I'm going to hit next. And the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to put my count of deals on my Y axis here. And then I'm going to search for a property called original source type. And this is a deal property that is on every deal in your HubSpot portal. And we're going to talk later about how this gets updated, but you can see this is going to break out our deals by their source. We've got organic search, we've got paid search, we've got email marketing and so on. And this is just our total number of deals. And if we wanted to instead say, you know, we're more interested in just our closed one deals, let's say, I'm going to come here, I'm going to add my filter. I'm going to say deal stage is any of closed one, all closed one. And now instead of our total count of deals, we're just going to see the total count of closed one deals. And now if instead I said, you know, hey, it's not as interesting to see the total number. I want to see the amount. It's a lot more valuable to know how much revenue is coming from this source. I can add an additional Y axis. And now I can see the total number of deals that are closed one by each source and the total number of revenue or total amount of revenue that's being brought in from there. So I'm going to flip over really quickly because I think it's important to talk about where this information is coming from. It's so critical to know what sources are bringing in the most revenue, but this, this source property in HubSpot is updated automatically based on the contact associations that you make with your deals. So if I go over to my deal board and I'm going to quickly make a new deal, I'm going to say this is a sample deal and it's $500, great. And then here, I'm going to add an example person to my deal. And we're going to show you what happens when we make this. Every contact has similar information about their source that's automatically injected from HubSpot based on what it knows about how this person got into the CRM. And so you can see here that our, whoop, let me refresh it one more time, that our deal information automatically comes over as well. So this original source type, this original source data one and two get populated based on a contact. What's really important though to understand is if you have more than one contact on a deal, it's going to take the contact who is the oldest in the CRM and use that information to update this. So even though we already have a prospect on here that has some original source information, if we come in here and add another person, we'll add another contact, and that is Megan, our coworker, and we'll say save. Now, if I give this a second and refresh, we're gonna see that our original source type data down here changes to offline sources. And that can be really critical if you're tracking revenue a certain way. So we wanted to quickly explain and kind of break that down and, and why that happens. So again, if you add an additional contact to your deal, it's going to take the information from the contact who was created first, not the contact that was added to the deal first. Please reach out with any questions. We'd love to talk about this more.